Hey guys, this is Club Only One with uh, a tutorial video on how I edit using Windows Live Movie Maker. Yes, it's like a generic uh, software that comes with your PC. All the PCs have this, basically. And I'll show you how to record a video, uh, three videos actually, because I record in, like half an hour sessions with the HD PVR. Uh, then I it saves to here. And then I just take the raw video files of footage. I just click here, find where I recorded it. I'm assuming you recorded your stuff already. Find this. Uh, here is the video. This is three videos I'm gonna show you how to do. Uh, uh, to do live commentary, I recommend getting this program called Audacity. It is a free program. You can just basically record stuff with your mic or whatever. So yes, yeah, free. Uh, you basically have to click record while you're recording your video and then save it saves to your computer and to get the commentary to uh, get your video it's add music find where it saved to which is this one and there you go there's your commentary added with the video as you can see right there okay in order to get this to uh, save as 10 minute sessions which is what I do 10 minute videos what you do is you go to your 10 minute mark or wherever it is you get it kind of exactly uh, go to video tools split go to music tools and split if you don't do this and it'll be very screwed up so just make sure you split both of them now you have the commentary synced up with the uh, corresponding video as you can see As you can see, it's synced up with it. Okay, now you go to the next 10 minute mark, which is about 19 minutes from 9 minutes. Go there. Video tools split. Music tools split. Now you got three videos with commentary. As so. Now to get this to uh, split up correctly uh, to different videos, what you do is you delete these delete the whole thing or else it won't work right so you just delete the audio right here remove remove the video remove remove the video and there you go there's one video right there ready for you to save as you can see if it loads for well, sometimes windows movie maker takes a lot of load okay, there you go now you save the movie because youtube doesn't accept project files save it that's used for the computer because the files are smaller and it's easy to upload. And once you get that video uh, saved, you undo, undo, and do the same for the other videos. So like for the first, vi second video, which is a little more complicated, delete this one, delete that video, go to the first one, delete the, uh, remove it, and then remove this one, and then now you get the corresponding one, as you can see. It's kind of complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy to do. Um, I see it's having difficulty uh, loading again. Just give it some time to uh, render out. As you can see, it's kind of stuck, but. Alright, now you just save that one. I already have it saved, so I'm not saving it. Then you undo, undo, undo. And then you go do the same for the third video, which is. A lot more complicated. You remove it. I believe you remove this one. So you get this one. Remove. And then remove. And now it should be synced up. If not, just undo it until you get the right commentary to go with the right video. And there you go. It's synced up. The third video. See? And that's the tutorial, then you just save this movie as a WMV file. Sorry about that, which is the default one. This movie will, I mean, this uh, video will be posted up to YouTube soon for computer, uh, the size and everything. Thank you. Just a little reminder that um, my audio isn't 
completely synced up with the video because uh Windows Live Movie Maker is not a powerful editing software, it's just a default one. So you can't really get it to sync up perfectly. So it'll be a little off in some spots. That's why the commentary isn't that perfect. That's why a lot of people's isn't that perfect actually. Uh but the ones we do have Sony Vegas is a lot more accurate because you really can't get it to sync up like when you record this and then hit the record on the audio software at the same time. So thank you. CLB Ellen out, I guess.